Hello everyone and welcome back to part number 5 of the Cinderella challenge and Cinderella and her ugly sisters or her horrible sisters are on their way home from school. So Lady Tremaine is actually cooking. Now she was given the slob and the lazy and all that sort of good stuff you know but she does actually do things on her own when it comes to cooking so she can feed herself so she might like to look at herself in the mirror and sleep all day but she knows how to feed herself so that's fine and she's got a middle of a pure reputation she's a faithful sim well she's not really had much of an option because he's dead so yeah don't really know why she got that middle now Cinderella is aging up tomorrow and she has got an A for her homework or for her school grades which means that we can age them up so oh we've got lots of friends coming over. Has Cinderella got a friend or is it just the girls? Probably just the girls. Not so curious is coming home with Anastasia. <laughs> Not so curious. <laughs> <laughs> That's an awesome name. And uh, Pansy Prudence is coming home. Why does nobody to come home with Cinderella? Like, she's the sweetest one of the bunch, so why do they not come home? Right, let's speak to... Let us speak to Not So. So let's do a friendly introduction. Cinderella, you can't do your homework with them, hun. You can't. I know you want to, but I need to turn my volume down because I can't even hear myself speak. Give me a second. There we go. It probably didn't sound that loud to you, but to me, in my headphones, it is super duper loud. So I can hear myself speak now, so that's good. Okay, Cinderella. Oh, and he's got a crown on. Does that mean that he could possibly be the Prince Charming? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Right, you be quiet and let her speak to him. Move. Out the way, please. So... I'm really looking forward to aging Cinderella up because she's very limited in what she can do as a child. So she can't really do any washing. Um, there's some things she can't clean. She can't do the gardening. So definitely looking forward to getting her aged up. What are you barking at? Right, no. Go and do something else, please. Go and, like, sleep or something. Okay, Cinderella. So, not so curious. It's a funny name, but I really don't think I want my Prince Charming to be um, not so curious. But I want to get Cinderella's, you know, stuff up. Oh, she just scared him. How nasty is she? Oh my goodness, you're not going to scare. Oh my... <laughs> you're scaring your own child. Seriously. Okay, Cinderella. You... Oh, sweetheart. You should know by now. You know the rules. You You can't do that. So we need to clean this bathroom until pristine. So someone said if I click on the floor of the house, she'll just clean it. But I've tried that. And I don't know if it's because she's a child that she can't do that because she technically can't clean everything. I'm not entirely sure. So, oh, and there we go. And someone also kindly told me that I missed a plate. <laughs> and I did. As you can see from all the flies, I definitely did. So wash all the dishes on the lot. Yes, if we do that Cinderella, that would be that would be awesome. And I can't do anything to help her whatsoever, so if we get this evening kinda out the way. So put away leftovers, take out the trash. Are you chasing that boy? No? Did I just see someone chase a boy there? I don't know. Cinderella is in her outer clothes because it must be freezing. We are in fall and it's two days until winter two days into winter so that means that she should probably have her prom in the spring which would be nice okay that i hate it when it's got the flies i think it's disgusting okay cinderella so go and do the rest of it go and take out the trash and stuff and what about up here? Of course, we have to make their beds. Of course we do. Silly, silly Laura. Silly Laura thinking they might do it on their own. Um, Everything else looks pretty clean. So I think that that would be her. Excellent. So we'll be able to make some friends. Cinderella, where are you? What is this? What is this? Like, what is this? That is weird. What is that? 
give name to Abracadabra. That's just like one of those gnome things, isn't it? Except it's a, a teddy. So she can view it, she can kick it, and she can command one of these to guard it. <laughs> I think we're not really going to do any of that. Okay, Cinderella. Oh, I just love her. She's so cute. So I posted, I'm going to post a video up at the same time as this, telling you a bit about the fact that I'm going to be starting the Disney 10 Generation Legacy Challenge. So please, if you've not seen that video, go and watch it because I think you'll find that really interesting as it means that we get to continue on with little Cinderella. Really no idea why I wanted to sing that. So Cinderella wants to sign up for an after school activity, which you can. She wants to find a rock. Okay, it's a bit bizarre, but never mind. And she wants to have a slumber party, which unfortunately Lady Chimene would never, never allow Cinderella. Oh, they're having fights. She's getting a row. She's getting a row. I have had it. Go and take a time out. I don't know what she's done, but Lady Chimene's not happy. Oh, and she's lost a friend and her daughter. <gasps> she's not friends with her daughters. My goodness, our daughters are going to end up turning on her. Oh well, that's what you get for being a nasty, nasty woman, isn't it? Right, and I think that's us, but that doesn't need cleaned out. So we can go back to the friends. Where are the friends? Are they away home? <laughs> yes, you stand in a corner. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, you stand in a corner. Yeah, you do that. Okay, Cinderella, so really good that you want to do your homework, but you need to do it at your home, since those friends seem to be away, unfortunately. Oh no, he's down here in your Oh, Cinderella, your house is a mess. I'm forgetting. I forget. What is this with people playing this game? Well, it seems that Cinderella has got the nicest or the most popular house because look, <laughs> they're all down here. I also replaced the toilet. A lot of you said just replace the toilet. We don't, we won't see it as cheating. Just replace the toilet. So we've done that. So that's fine. Um, all right. So Cinderella, I want you to talk to. Let's talk to not so so friendly. We'll share a secret with them. No, no, don't go away, don't go away, don't go away, don't go away. Let's let her clean that plate. Off oh, of the love of goodness. Where are you going? Maybe I'll stay. No, that's him away home. For the. Oh, what is wrong, Bruno? Let's feed him a little treat. He's had no attention whatsoever. Let's have a smoochie with him as well. Maybe don't do it in the bathroom, Cinderella, but definitely give him a bit of attention. You get out. Don't preside over royal court. Anastasia, really? You always want to be with Cinderella. Someone did say, you know, make them kind of friends. So I'm going to leave it and see what's happening here. You seem to be panting an awful lot. Are you alright? What is, what's the matter? What is the matter, Bruno? You just need some attention off Cinderella. That's what it is. Oh. Oh. Oh, so cute. Oh, it looks like Bruno has really taken a liking to Cinderella and he's chosen her as the BFF. Oh my goodness. Right, hug her. Hug her? Hug him. You can stay down here, Bruno. <laughs> I love when the pets are trying to get in for something that's like... Oh, oh, it's just too precious. It is just too precious. I love it. Give him a wee treat for that because that was super cute. Super duper cute. And uh, you can chew on that. Yeah, you can chew on that. Okay, Cinders, it's time to get you... Let's bake ourselves a little blueberry muffin just to get your hunger up. And then what we'll do is we'll get her to sleep and then the next day, which is the weekend, we'll be able to go to town, buy some seeds and hopefully see if she ages up herself hopefully she will at some point in the episode if not and if it's getting too late i will age her up i think yes although the thing is you wouldn't have an aging up party that's the thing what about the girls are they due to age up as well yep oh my goodness the cat attacked her <laughs> 
<laughs> Nothing says I'm out to get you quite like a cat shredding your feet from a cat attack. Oh my goodness. And she got in trouble for fighting in public. Deary me. Deary me, Miss Drizella. You are getting yourself into all sorts of problems, aren't you? Okay, so I'm just going to get Cinderella showered in bed and pick up in the morning. Alrighty, so it is the morning, or it's half past 11 actually, and Cinderella, the lazy bones, is just up. Anastasia is once more presiding over the royal freaking court in our house. So yeah, the girl's obsessed. The girl is obsessed. So let's pick ourselves a muffin first of all. I know that you want to do your homework and I really think that's awesome, but you're already an A, so we don't really need to get you any higher than that. It's only once you're a teenager we need to be on the honour roll. And I'm pretty sure you can't be on the honour roll as a kid. Really? I'm not, to be honest, I'm not sure. I know that's pretty bad, but I'm going to go with an A. Cinderella, eat it. Eat it. I'm not going to ask you to cook it and then not eat it. That makes no sense. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the park because the weekend is the only day that Cinderella can go out. Or the only two days. So we're going to go to the park and see if we can make any friends or anything like that. So Lucifer Tremaine has gained the adventurous trait. He will now be more curious and willing to explore the world. Excellent. Okay, so let's look at our map. Oh, it's cold. Look at that. It's all frosty this morning. It's all frosty. Right, Cinderella, where can we go? Where can we go? Mark Brandt would like to know if Lady Tremaine would like to go on a date. I'm going to say yes, because I don't see why she shouldn't go on a date, really. Look how foggy it is this morning, or today. That's ridiculous how foggy that is. Okay, where can we go, Cinderella? Will we go to the community gardens or will we go to the festival? Let's let's go to the fall festival. She's doing her duty though. She's washing all the dishes on the lot. She just got a lifetime wish for something. Not entirely sure what it was, but you know, she got it anyway. And once she's a teenager, we'll get rid of these clothing piles as well, which is essential. Cinders, where are you, honey? Ah, there you are. You're cleaning up their mess. So Lady Tremaine decided to enjoy the great outdoors and visited the park. So she's on... Oh, oh no, I hope she's not at the park that we're at. And the cat shredded her feet as well. Okay. Excellent. Alright, Cinderella. Oh, that's nice of you, Drizella. That is nice. That means that Cinderella can go to the park earlier. Fabulous. Okay. Um, where are you going, Missy? You go feed him a treat. That's fine. All right, Cinderella. So let's let's get this let's get this party started and hope that there's some nice kids that we can meet because you really don't have. You've only got not so curious, and I don't know if I want Prince Charming to be called that. I don't really think so. So we'll see. There always tends to be a lack of children in any Sims town, which always annoys me. So. You never know. You never ever know. Ha! She gets stood up. Sorry, I got hung up on something. Oh, whoa. I just got a fright there. Okay, Cinderella has decided to visit the park. Alrighty. And she's very excited about this. Very excited. So do we see any children? Quite a busy park today actually, but I don't see, surprise, surprise, any kids. Why is there no kids? Really? Oh no, there's a Oh no, that is Cinderella. <laughs> I'm like, there's a kid, but no, that's Cinderella. Who's this here? That looks like a teenager, so... Oh my goodness, no, I don't... I don't... I don't think so. I don't think our Prince Charming is him. Do you? No. No. We'll give my friend the introduction because, you know, he might be a nice person. But yeah... Oh, she's went into the future leggings. Okay, so let, let's have a friendly... I know he's a teenager and, and such like, but, you know, having a friend in high school would not be such a bad thing. So he wants to take a greeting card picture. So, yes, yeah, Cinderella, we can do that. So where is the greeting card booth? I can't believe there's no children. I mean, it's a park. Oh, oh, who's this? Oh, it would be. It's a female child. But friendly introduction anyway. 
Because even though it's a female child, she might have, you know, brothers or sisters or something. You never know. Well, not sisters, but she might have a brother. Okay, so you're a nice little kid. Hopefully you're a nice little kid. So let's share a secret with her. Do a bit of chakra bath. And we will chat with her. Yeah. Playing pretend is so much fun. Apparently. Funny, tell a funny story. Bless you. Um, do, 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 do. Let's play some tag. Yeah, why not? Why not? Well, she does want to get her picture taken, so I don't know actually if I want to play tag. Where is this freaking booth? I know there's the... F there we go. There it is. So can we take it with our new friend? Yes, why not? She's a friendly little thing, so let's go and get our greeting card taken with her. And I think we'll get Cinderella. Oh! Awesome. So she's got a nice greeting card picture, so that's good. So I think we'll get Cinderella. Oh, can she, she can't harvest, can't she not? The plant is currently dormant. Um, Can we not get the pumpkins yet? I'm not sure. Oh no, because she can't harvest and such like, can't she not? Cinderella, it's Saturday. Will you calm down with the homework? Enjoy yourself. You're out. You have freedom for a change. <laughs> Go and play with your friend on the swings. Go and push her on the swings or something. Yeah, go and, go and swing. I don't see any little boys around. Little boy, little boy. Honestly, I feel like a child catcher. <laughs> Trying to find a little boy for Cinderella. Okay, so anyway. So Cinderella, have a bit of fun, honey. Because, you know... Life is tough for you, so if you can get a bit of fun on the weekends, then I am happy for you. And she seems like a nice little girl, so that would be great. If you can get your fun up, that would be awesome. So she wants to have her face painted, so do you know what? You can have that, Cinderella. You can have your face painted. Because today is your day. It's 50, well, maybe not actually. You don't have 50 simoleons, Cinderella. That's like 10 days worth of your budget. Don't go anywhere, Tracy. You come back here. Friendly. Let's, um... Let's get to... Why did you move there? Like, really no need. Oh, Cinderella could pick these, couldn't she? Let's pick these flowers, because these can be worth something. And they can go towards Cinderella's daily budget. Yes, daily budget. That's so funny, like, swinging and quick motion. So let's play... No, I'm not challenging our tent pie eating contest. That's not happening. Okay, talk to us, little girl. Talk to us. Yes, talk over here. We're over here. Come talk to us. Okay. So that'll be good. Cinderella will be able to have at least one friend. And maybe, just maybe, she will have some you know, brothers or ain't something that we can get to know. So where is Lady Tremaine? Did she come home or is she just in the park on her own? Okay, she came home, so that's fine. Okay, let's go back to Cinderella. Let's go back to our Cinders, who's at the swing park still. Did you know that Emerald Greenwood is filthy rich? I would never have guessed. Okay, Cinderella, it was 8 o'clock at night, so I think you kind of have to go home because it should be your birthday very, very soon. My goodness, they are not getting on at all. They are fighting constantly. And they're in Cinderella's house. Like, seriously. <laughs> Why Cinderella's house? All the time. And they've came in and did a mess in the toilet. I mean, seriously. Urgh. And what are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing? Are you just standing looking at a wall? Is that is that what you're doing? Right, well, what we can do is buy some cakes for your precious girls because they are aging up. Come on, that's it. That's it, that's it. So popular store items, don't care. <clears throat> don't care, don't care. Right. So let's see if I'm any better in this part. So we struggled the last time. Ah, see, there we go. Parties. 
I don't know if she'll be able to get to that, so we'll put them on the counters. And we'll age up the girls first, and then maybe, just maybe, that'll trigger Cinderella's one. So blow out candles, you. Yep, yeah, come on, let's you blow out candles. And Cinderella's still riding home. Riding home. Are, are you really going to ha... Do you not want to get changed? Do you not think that that would be appropriate to get out of your nighty? <laughs> I think that would be appropriate. You know, your daughter's having a birthday party, you're scantily clapped. Oh, Cinderella's aging up on her own. Oh no, I hope my game doesn't go crazy with all these things happening. That's it, Cinderella. You wave your own thing. Well, let's see what we've got here. Oh! Cinderella has reached her teen years. Angst and raging hormones can make this a difficult period for your sim. She can now join the workforce by taking a part-time job. Yada, yada, yada. Because of her success in school, you may choose a trait for Cinderella. Okay, Cinderella. Animal lover, neat, good. And I think she has to have the... Hmm... I don't know, actually, guys. What do you think? I would probably say she's... Um, oh, I don't know. Will we go for a hopeless romantic? You know, why not? Yeah, hopeless romantic. Your sim has room for more traits. Are you sure? No, oh, hold on. Go back. Hopeless romantic. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Cinderella, look at you. Let's see, please be a pretty sim. Um, yeah, I think we'll need to go into create a sim. We need to sort the hair out, and I think she's got some dodgy makeup on, so. Yeah. Okay, so Anastasia, you doing the. Let's see what you look like. Because we'll certainly need to do some makeovers if she turns out to be prettier than her. Right, hurry up. Yep, so let's uh, randomise. So she's frugal, that's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness, so many birthdays! A lovely haircut. I love your haircut. And your outfit that just doesn't match at all. Okay, hurry up. Come on, it's your turn. Let's see that that's gorgeous look. Cinderella's like, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Okay, we'll randomise you as well. You love the cold. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Lovely outfit. At least Cinderella's outfit kind of matches. Cinderella, don't cheer for them. You're, you're not interested, Cinderella. You know you're not interested. Okay, so... Cinderella has got dreadlocks. We don't want that. So, I'm going to just... you. Really? What are you doing here, Llama? No, nobody's interested. Maybe Lady Tremaine is, but certainly not us. So let's go in and make sure that Cinderella is beautiful because we need to... And as I said, guys, my keyboard is behind my mic. Therefore, if you hear it all going crazy, enabled, no, enabled, <laughs> Enabled. Oh my goodness, this is so annoying. True. Mm. True. Okay. So we're Cinderella. Where are you? She's in the toilet. So shift, click, edit. Okay. Because we have to make sure that Cinderella is a pretty sim. Yes, we do. She's a pretty child, so she should technically be a pretty sim. Um, She's actually not bad at all. Um, she's got some size. <laughs> she's got lovely big lips on her. I'll, I'll give her. I'll give her that. So we need to change her hair, and I. I did kind of like the style of hair that I had for Cinderella. So I think we're just going to put it back to that. I think that she suited the ponytail. I think that was very her. Um. So I'm just going to keep it at that. Maybe a long. Maybe a braid is nice. Maybe that's cute. Yeah, I actually think I quite like that. So we have that as an option. We have the ponytail as an option. I mean, she did have it switched up, didn't she? She did have it switched up. Like, not switched up, but she did have it tied up in the movie. So that's 
an option or we have that no I think that's to put together so we've got that as an option and we've got the ponytail so I'll leave it as a ponytail for now and then you can let me know what you think facially I think she's really pretty I think she's pretty I think she's a pretty sim I think I don't really want to change her so you can let me know what you think but I think her mouth is maybe a bit big but I think that she'll grow into that I don't really necessarily think that that's going to be her mouth you know because sometimes when a sim's a teenager they can look a little bit awkward but then once they grow up they are you know much more you know they grow into the mouth that's what I'm trying to say okay clothes wise for Cinderella now what can we do here because I mean I guess that's you know kind of rags it's not rags but you know I guess that is kind of plain Jane but so she's a teenager now hmm I don't really know what I want her in to be honest we could put her in a dress and then just make it really you know ragtaggedy but it is winter so I don't really think it's right that she's in a really cold cold outfit hmm this is when it becomes difficult because um, what about no that's too nice isn't it um um um, um maybe I should cut out and come back <laughs> because we don't want it to be too nice you can't have real nice clothes that's the problem and that's far too futuristic and she could wear something like that no. Okay, I'm going to cut out and play about with a couple of things and then come back to you rather than you sit and listen to all my Albert's. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. So, this is what I've came up with now. It's plain and I don't love it, but it's not supposed to be. So, that's what you need to keep in mind. Cinderella, at this point, is this still supposed to have cast offs from her sisters? She's not got anything new, never had anything new. So I've imagined this as quite a bright dress at one point, but that has been washed and washed and washed until it is just a grey rag. She's upgraded herself. She has now a pair of shoes, ugly shoes, but shoes nonetheless. And I've kept her here as it was and I've added some red lips to give her a kind of red lipped effect. Now I have chosen formal wear because she does go to the prom which I'm hoping to kind of be like the ball. So I have chosen an outfit. I don't know if you guys will like it. If you don't like it then I'll try and find custom content. So let me know in the comments below whether you think this is a nice outfit for it or not. Um, So just comment below and let me know. So this is what I thought would be quite nice for her. So I know that it's got a kind of corset thing around about it, but I just feel that it looks kind of similar because it's, you know, the floor length gown, it's the long gloves, you know, it's the colour of the dress that she wore in the film. It's not as kind of, I guess, meringue as the one in the film and her hair's not up in a, you know, a chagon bun type thing. So I like it. I think because this is a Cinderella inspired challenge that that should be fine. But I'm more than happy to search for some custom content to be more like the film if that's what you guys want. But personally, I think she looks super cute. Personally, I think she looks super cute. So that is the outfit for her to decide for her formal wear. And I've chosen some sleepwear for her as well. Never. Just that, just plain, you know, she's got a pair of slippers now. And then for her outerwear, because she's not going to go athletic or swimwear so at the so. minute. And I've just chosen that for her outerwear. Yeah, so that's her. That is our cinders. That is our Cinderella. And uh, yeah, I think that we've struck lucky with how she looks without a shadow of a doubt. And I think with that, I think I'm going to leave it here. If we have a look at Anastasia... Anastasia really hasn't had the best 
<laughs> the best. I think I might jump in. I think I might jump in to create a sim maybe in the next part and sort them out. But I think that this part has been long enough. So thank you so much for joining me, guys. Don't forget to like this video, leave me a little comment, and let me know what you think of Cinderella's makeover. And I shall talk to you in the very next part. Bye, guys.